they don't make 70 years. Woo! Mama Rose over there doing her 86. Y'all give it up for Mama Rose. You know how many people wish their mama was at that party at 70? Uh, Sam said he was having a birthday party. It looked more like an AARP meeting to me. I guess I'm going to be a new member. God dang. He talked about it's going to be the 5 to 10. I said, everybody in here going to be sleeping at 9, Sam. These people got to take a nap just to stay up this late. Oh, my God. Man, what a blessing. What a blessing to have all these wonderful friends. It's Mama Rose over there. I love Mama Rose, but she got to look. You know all Sam's brothers name. She couldn't think of no other name. Sam, you gonna be Sam, Sam, Sam. She got a Sandra. Kim, the only one stood out. Oh my God, Sam here. He got all the boys here except Sammy Jr. Sammy Jr. couldn't make it. He said, no, I'm gonna go on and get these three hots and a cot out of Chino. Y'all want too much. I can get a free membership to the gym. They got free gym and jail. And you can get free cable. He got his beautiful wife, Kim, out here. Lying to everybody, talking about Kim was in an accident. Sam put Kim in that wheelchair. Don't believe that shit. Sam said, I'm about to leave. Kim said, I'm leaving you. He said, I bet you won't be walking out of here, goddamn. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna break your back and your neck. You're gonna be in this wheelchair. I ain't going no goddamn way. Sam, I've been knowing Sam for 25 years. I ain't gonna admit to no 30. I ain't, I ain't that old shit. I've been telling everybody, Sam, my big brother. I didn't know you was 70, nigga. You my uncle. <laughs> Mark and Brandon, my cousins. We ain't no uncle. You my uncle. I love Sam. That man saw me back in the 90s on a deaf comedy jam, and he put me to work after that. I probably hosted every major concert at the Universal Amphitheater. Y'all remember that Universal? That man put me on a lot of shows, and I ain't had to do it to him or nothing. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of these old hoes in here. I see y'all. Ooh, they walking around half naked. And the girl in the wheelchair got the prize. Back on, girl, you ain't getting that nigga. It's a wreck. My brother ain't no cheater. He good. We good people in our family. We ain't the savvy joke. I see you over there. We some good men. Mama Rose did a hell of a job raising these. All the boys are good. They all got a good heart. Every single one of them. They all old as hell. Sam tricked me. He said, no, I need you to host my party. It's going to be a lot of millionaires up in there now leaving you single. Get you one. Oh, I did. I thought I had to push him in the wheelchair. I was oh, that dick don't work, I can tell you that. Money might be long, but the dick is long gone. That's what that is. Ain't nothing but some noodles in here tonight. You're going to have to pop one of them Viagra's. Oh my God, but that thing ain't working. That's a goddamn show. I don't care how much money you got. Woo! These old ass men in here. I seen a couple with titties. I don't do titties. A couple of y'all that need to take some of that money and get you a tummy tuck. That's what you need to do. I'm crying here looking like you in your second trimester. If you don't hold your stomach in, hold it in for a minute, God. Oh my God. They don't care, they walking around, stomach all poked out. Look at that, my wallet, that don't make me do a damn thing. <laughs> Sam trying to hook me up with the old man over there in the peach suit, talking about he used to be a boxer. What you talking about? I'm looking for somebody that still is a boxer. I don't want no retired nigga, I don't want somebody that still got a good job. No, that money gone. I ain't got no more. That's pension money right there. I don't want to live off no social security. I need a ball. I'm looking for somebody with some money. Wait a second. All the ones with money got somebody. Ed got somebody. And these girls, my friend, for years, so I don't want none of that either. I don't want that. 
Where the single man with the money at? Make some noise. Look at this shit. Hey, nobody paying up. Sam, you tricked me. All these broke ass niggas in here. That's the same. Perpetrating like they got it going on. Ain't got, got to take that suit back in the morning. These niggas rent suits to come up in here tonight. Like rentals. Come on in here. Look at these old ones right here. These are little. It's a little man posse right here. Five, five and under. And these are the ones you got to break out your flip flops for these niggas right here. Can't wear no heels with their ass. Gonna be towering over them little baby. These my old jeans up in here. Woo! Class of 65, where y'all at? I know you're in here. 79, 80, 35. Wow, you old ass niggas in here. They like go a little further back now. They go back. Okay, 60, class of 60. Niggas came up here talking about they used to be a singing group. We see why y'all didn't make it, too. You should have went on the gong show and really found out what was going on. They'd have gone y'all asses, I guarantee you that. Think they can sing. You can't sing, boy. Should have been boxing. That's what you should have been. Should have been boxing like the red. And Sam up here talking all this shit. He could do that shit you used to could do, Sam. Can't play no damn ping pong no more. Or who you think you fooling? Oh, old ass better sit down some goddamn thing. He get out of breath. That's why he got Kim. He needs somebody he can push around. You can't chase after them old hoes no more. Yep, he run out of breath. I can't, can't do it. Yeah. Look at Sam showing them pictures of when he had black hair. Did you see that? That nigga used to have black hair a long time ago. Oh my God. I see a lot of y'all dying y'all shit and your hair ain't black. That's, that's, that's a Miss Clairol in that shit right there. Some of y'all need to do the roots too. Roots, show them, your roots are showing. Oh my God, what we gonna do? Well, I tell you what, it's get old or get buried. So what a blessing it is to be old. Adam, am I right? It's a whole bunch of people will never be an old man. I, I, I pray to God I be an old woman. I want to be an old woman so I can say whatever I want to say. Old people can get away with all kind of shit, don't they? Once they hit 70, they can cuss anybody out and get away and don't, and don't even get beat up. They don't get cussed out or nothing. They be like, nah, let that old lady go on. I can't wait for them days to come so I can get seen. Oh my God. I see a lot of women in here don't want to let it go, huh? They still think they 30. Girl, put some clothes on, goddammit, girl. You're 75 now. Nobody wanna see that old ass shoulder. Put your shoulder in. Got the back out, it ain't a back. It's four backs. Put your backs back in. Put your backs back in. Nobody wanna see that shit. Put your backs back in. Oh my God, y'all still sexy. What you telling me? Oh. Don't be telling me to hurry up. Is that you tell Sam don't want me to talk about his ass no more. Is that what you're circling with? Cause I'm gonna talk about your ass, you know that. I already got Kim, don't worry, I ain't finished. I got Sammy Jr., I got Sam. Where Brandon and Mark at? Where them niggas at? I got some tickets I need y'all to sell. Where you at? Remember Sam had them niggas selling tickets all up and down, they go up. All over, they was over on Prairie. Hey, I got them, uh, I got them tickets, I got them tickets. Oh my God, that's okay, Sam is a hustler. I love it. I've always, Sam is somebody that will spot out something, a jewel out of before. He knew I was good before I knew I was good. Sam has always showed me nothing but love. Last, a couple of years ago, I wanted to make a movie and I didn't have enough money. I reached out to Sam, it must have been a good day. Cause Sam was like, what's your account number? I was like, want me know it? I made a movie called Boosters LA. It is streaming right now on Tubi TV. Sam is in the movie. And we had to shoot his scene for three days. It wasn't for three lines, but that nigga couldn't get the shit right. I'm like, look, I'ma just say it and then you repeat after me, okay? Let's do that. Oh my God, but he got it done, we got it done. The movie is great. Thank you for believing in me, Sam. I love you always. We gonna keep this show rolling because we got some more money for y'all, but I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna be back. 
But I brought my boy. Sam ran into my boy. I just did a show at the Nobu with Snoop Dogg and a couple of other comedians, and we had a ball. Sam came through, and he saw my boy that I brought here from Oakland. He is hilarious. You guys start clapping right now. Y'all in for a treat. Start clapping. For my boy, Mr. Mario Hines. Give it up for Melanie one more time, y'all. A lot of old niggas in here, god damn. It's good to see y'all, man. This up, Sam. Good to see you, Sam. Sam talking about talk about me. <laughs> that goddamn voice of yours, boy. Sam sound like he gargle with Pepsi. <laughs> that boy's fucked up. <laughs> that's all right, my, my wife sound like that in the morning. That's why I don't even want to have sex with her in the morning. Sound just like a nigga. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Oak, California, y'all. Born and raised. Yes. Don't clap for that shit, because Oakland, Cali Oakland, you will get robbed by anybody in Oakland, California. They don't give a shit. Me and my son got robbed together by a sister. She has some stilettos on, a nice skirt, nice blouse, and a pink ski mask on. This is how I knew this heifer was ghetto, because she had her fake eyelashes glued on the outside of her ski mask. She pulled a gun on me and said, break yourself right now, nigga. I said, please don't kill me, I got kids. She said, nigga, I know we got kids together. <laughs> I ended up getting robbed by my own wife. Then I got robbed by a nigga that was deaf. A deaf nigga. I don't come to communicate with no deaf nigga. He pulled a gun on me and handed me a note at the same time. <laughs> so I took the note and opened it and read it. It said, give me all your shit and don't say a goddamn word to me. Now, I'm nervous, I don't know what to do. But black people, we smart, we observe shit before something happened to us. I look at the note and I notice it was written in pencil. And he had a pencil behind his ear. So this is my chance to communicate with this nigga. So I took the pencil from behind his ear and I erased everything on a piece of paper. Wrote what I had to write to him, handed it back to him. He read it and said, please don't kill me. I got a family to provide for. This nigga got mad, snatched the pencil back from me. Erased everything that I had on the piece of paper. Wrote what he had to write to me and handed it back to me. I opened up and read it and said, nigga, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> How is that possible? You can't hear it at all, nigga. Black people, we gotta start taking, we gotta start um, treating ourselves better.